Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word, where it's God's Word in a cup of joe. So here we go. Oh, I'm having uh, the taste of San Antonio this morning. Mmm. Good stuff. All right. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well today. Um... In case this is your first time reading it, or first time seeing this, uh, my name is John Guru, and I'm from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas, and every morning I get up and read from the Revised Common Lectionary. Uh, if you'll check the description of the video on, on YouTube, you'll see a link uh, to our church website, a link to where you can get the Revised Common Lectionary on your smart device, and a link to the Pray Now app, and I use that for the prayer of the day afterwards. So let's see where we're going today. Today we're starting out in Psalms, as always, uh, and then we're going to Isaiah, two separate readings from Isaiah, and then we're going to Romans. Romans, love Romans. I heard a pastor one time describe Romans as the Fort Knox of Christian doctrine, and uh, a few years back I was working somewhere and I was teaching a Bible study, and we went through verse by verse through the book of Romans, and it's such a such an awesome study so anyway let's uh, let me click on the link here in my calendar and it takes me to the biblegateway.com and that has all the readings there and once again it has switched me back over to the new international version nothing wrong with that version it's okay but uh, I prefer the English standard version so I gotta go in here and switch I'm not sure why it keeps doing this All right, here we go. Get a little coffee. Check out my new mug, Coffee and the Word. Awesome. All right, we're going to start off today with Psalm 29. <clears throat> As always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So here we go. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf. And Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice, is the, the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The, vo the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry, Glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. All right. <clears throat> the Old Testament lesson this morning. We're going to Isaiah chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Oh, so here we go. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evil doers children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Hmm. And then it skips down to 16 through 20. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Correct oppression. Bring justice to the fatherless. Plead the widow's cause. 
Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be eaten by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. All right. Okay. Let me turn this way for this one. All right. Get a little coffee. Next, we're going to the New Testament. It's Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 8. All right. There is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. By sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, He condemned sin in the flesh, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to, to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on, on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. And this is the word of the Lord. Let's go to the Pray Now app and read the prayer of the day. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God and Father, you sent your Son to take our nature upon himself and to suffer death on the cross, that all should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both <clears throat> follow the example of our Savior Jesus Christ in his patience and also have our portion in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, uh, in this part of the of the country, uh, it's the uh, my kids' last day of school today. So, uh, I'm sure they're. You, you remember when you were a kid, last day of school, it was always exciting. But uh, anyway, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So. Be safe, be happy, and be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.